SMT Nation, we are back. Nation, in today's video, we're going to tell you about this update we got from T-Mobile at Markets Day in partnership with NVIDIA. I mean, sheesh, can you talk about a bigger company in AI? Uh, let, let's discuss their partnership, what they're going to do for them, what it means for the company, and you as a customer uh, within the industry, specifically, you know, if you're a T-Mobile customer. Link for the article from tmonews.com provided in the description. Ways to support us can be found there as well. Please do like and share this video. Subscribe if you're new here and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. All right, so in partnership and collaboration with NVIDIA, Ericsson, and I think there's a couple other companies involved. We know we talked about OpenAI already and all those things, but uh, what you're going to be seeing is what's known as AI RAN. RAN stands for Radio Access Network. And this is going to be directly impacting customer real world network experience. So we know that you need capacity, you need speeds. And we know that the, the best thing about next generation networking is not just more speed, but it's really going to be about increasing reliability, reducing time to content or time to task. So whether it's gaming or videos or live streaming, any type of AR application, VR, whatever, you know, um, as, as well as, <clears throat> excuse me, as well as with things like fixed wireless access, maybe there's some particular use cases there as well. You just want it to be better. We want to see it step up and, and with AI, those things can happen. So there's different types of predictions. There's different types of algorithms that can be in place and applications that can be applied to manage workloads at the network edge. Now, to be honest with you guys, I have not considered T-Mobile to be trailblazing in this area. I have more so viewed AT&T because of their partnership and agreement with Ericsson to kind of completely modernize their network and move towards this ORAN infrastructure approach and philosophy. We already know that Verizon partnering with both Ericsson and specifically Samsung with VRAN kind of put them in the catbird seat to, you know, utilize these philosophies and strategies. But an open RAN architecture has really not been mentioned or discussed by T-Mobile. So maybe now they're kind of looking at it as now it's time to make that play and move in that direction. So T-Mobile might try to spin this off that they're the first to do this. They're definitely not. Uh, other companies have been doing it and, and it's fine. Everybody was going to be moving in this direction even when these discussions were happening three, four, five years ago, it was only a matter of time and it was imminent that it was going to happen. So it, it's good that they're going in this direction. Now, the, the thing like I was saying about it being an AI game changer, this will make the T-Mobile network better. It makes it more reliable. It makes it faster, zippier, more capable, dealing with power, uh, you know, intensive processes. It makes them better for it, right? And Obviously, with a lot of move to the cloud, you know, things can virtualize and, and having an open platform allows you to virtualize more effectively, efficiently. It makes their network more fleet footed. It allows them to be more uh, flexible and scale better. It's good for their business. It's good for their company. And I think it puts them more so in the direction that AT&T is moving and definitely in the same direction Verizon is moving. But um, it's definitely not first of its kind right we've already seen these plays for a while now from the other big two but it's it's good to see them getting involved and in going in this direction uh so it was just a matter of time until they did this and i'm glad that they have right this is going to be a revolutionary era in networking as 5g use case applications become mainstream and we have new ones that come to market t-mobile will be ready at that time uh now the one thing i will say is it would help, I think, if T-Mobile actually owned more of its network. And of course, that could change. We do see the, the U.S. cellular deal. We do see some partnerships in fiber and, you know, some ownership in there. So that's good because uh, you got to you gotta own the infrastructure. So it's one thing to virtualize your network and go with an ORAN infrastructure and looking at AI for solutions, but you got to own your network. And I think that's the most important piece that we can't overlook these are all supplemental to operations you know but the the infrastructure is the most important thing so this would be this would be huge for them 
uh, one piece to the puzzle. What do you guys think about all this? An AI ran innovation center and these partnerships with NVIDIA, Ericsson, Nokia. What do you guys think? Sound off in the comment section below. The voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.